fellow Cardano Ledger Nano S users. Uh, today I have a great video for you today because we've all been waiting for this, but finally, March 27th, we can finally store our ADA on our Ledger. But before I jump into that, uh, real quick YouTube shill thing. Uh, YouTube took away my ads, so I'd really appreciate it if you either subscribe to the video or um, just even donated one ADA to my link below. It would mean more to me than you think. But past that, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have Ledger Live open. And then once you have Ledger Live open, you're going to want to go to Manager. And you're going to want to make sure your Ledger Nano S is all the way updated. You're going to want to make sure Ledger, Ledger Live is all the way updated. And then after that, you're going to want to install the Cardano ADA app on the app catalog. And this is in the Manager section right here. So, and you're going to want to make sure your Ledger is already open and connected. But to get to the Manager, it asks you to do that anyway. So I don't even know why I said that. But so while that's installing, you also want to make sure you have the Reward app. Um, if this isn't your first time to, uh, downloading it today, or if you already have money in your Reward, you're just going to want to click New Wallet to do it. But some people are having problems when they when if they already had your Reward, but and then when they get on there, they can't see the Ledger portion. So what you're going to have to do to fix that issue is make sure you have your keys backed up just in case but you're just going to delete your OI and then remove from Chrome and then you're going to want to download it again so just go to yourroy-wallet.com download the Chrome extension once again and then this will add the um, the ledger support because I was having an issue with it and I saw a couple other people on the reddit say the same thing so you're just going to set it up like normal English agree with the terms and then now it's there. So you connect to Ledger Hardware Wallet. And initially that wasn't there. So we'll go check back. So look, successfully installed Cardano ADA. So this problem, this uh, I actually had a little bit of trouble with too. So now when you look at your Ledger, you're going to see the Cardano ADA app on there. Heck yeah, it feels good to finally see the symbol on there. But so once you have that set up, you're going to want to have your hands on it. So and then you're going to come here and go to connect to Ledger Hardware Wallet. And make sure you read through all this and then it just gives you some of the prerequisites and then I'm currently not going to store my ADA I'm going to give it a couple of days and kind of do some more research on the security of it but I definitely want to set it up and learn more about it so we'll go to next and then after connecting your ledger to your device the USB port connect to the press the connect button make sure the Cardano app is open this process shares the public key see I think this personally is a bad description and this is where I'm going to help you guys so now that you have the app installed, you're going to want to open it. And then I th you might have just heard that on my computer. So now that it's open, it'll say waiting for commands. And then you want to click connect on the screen and then look back at your ledger because then it'll say export public key. So then you're going to have to double tap both buttons again, confirm public export key, and then voila. The, and then you can just name the wallet, whatever you'd like. So now that we have that done, we have the wallet in your OI. So, so I'm pretty sure the only thing that's different is when you go to uh, send and you go to, I don't even know if it's received, you can receive normally, but when you go to send, it asks you to connect your ledger and confirm it. And then when you go back to the uh, ledger live, there's, it's not, it's still not in your portfolio. So I'm not sure. Um, why they chose to go that route. Maybe they'll connect with them more in the future because I was kind of hoping that they would add it to the portfolio and I'd be able to use it primarily with uh, Ledger Live. But I mean, I like Goy. It's it's a quick wallet. I just had some trouble with it and it's still relatively new, but it's nice that they added support and I'm sure um, it'll be a lot better in the future because this stuff is all really early. But I appreciate you guys stopping by the video today. If you have any questions down below, feel free to ask. Um, it, either on my reddit post or in the comments below uh, feel free to ask a question and even if I might not know the answer someone else in the Cardano community could know the answer and they could get back with you so if also if you guys run into any troubles I'd appreciate if you commenting down below how you fix that trouble because currently because this video is not this video but this um, technology is so new 
not anybody, nobody knows how to uh, fix the problems that you can currently run into because I had a little bit of troubles with mine and fix some of the issues, but my main one was just having to delete your OI. So just comment if you fix any issues, comment if you have any issues, and then I really appreciate you stopping by today. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.